Hey folks, Sirdar here, and in this episode of Dead with Sirdar, I'm going to showcase Rough, a linter and code formatter for Python written in Rust. Tools for linting, type checking, and formatting code are pretty much prerequisites for serious development with Python. Linters make sure your code follows certain standards. Type checking ensures type annotated code in Python is correct, and formatters make your code easy to read. Rough does two of those three jobs. It formats your code along the lines of the also popular black formatter, and it lints your code to check its behavior. It's also faster than the equivalent Python tools. Rough was written in Rust, and so it's part of a growing ecosystem of Python tooling written in that fast and safe language. You don't need to use Rust to use Rough, by the way. You can just pip install Rough or use a Visual Studio Code extension that lets you apply Rough to a code base being worked on in that editor. So let's take a look at Rough in action. I have here a Python code base. This is about 5,000 lines spread across a number of modules. And I have not been using a linter to verify this code, so there are issues with it. Now, a common linter tool for Python is Flake 8, which analyzes a code base for how well it adheres to Python's style guidelines. I've installed Flake 8, so if I run it on this code base, I get quite a few suggestions. You will notice, though, that there is a perceptible delay when running Flake 8. It's not so bad, but that lag can get noticeable after a while, and it does increase with a larger code base. Now, if we run rough on this code base, the results are almost instantaneous, and they are equally comprehensive. Rough can also perform code formatting using the style guides laid down by the Python code formatting tool Black. And again, because Rough is written in a faster language than Black, it works that much faster. So an example, I'll run Black on this code base from the command line. And as you can see, there is a perceptible delay when it starts. And that's just to confirm that all the files in question are already Black formatted, because I have been using Black on this code base. But when I do the same thing with Rough format, the results are almost instant. And because it uses the same formatting rules as black, the results are indistinguishable. A few other things are worth noting about the way rough works. Now, when I run a linting pass on this code, you will notice that there are listed a slew of fixes that can be applied automatically and a number more that can be enabled with the unsafe fixes option. Rough only applies fixes it's positive aren't going to alter the code behavior. Unsafe fixes are changes to the code that might affect behavior in ways Rough is not sure that it can detect because of Python's dynamism. So those changes are disabled by default. Another thing is that Rough does not do type checking on a code base. PyWrite, for instance, is a common Python type checking tool made by Microsoft. It's part of the package of extensions that Microsoft offers for working with Python on VS Code, and it can run as a standalone tool. So unless Ruff also decides to add type checking to its list of duties in the future, you'll want to use a type checker like PyWrite or a similar product side by side with Ruff, and the two should run side by side unobtrusively. So to sum up, Ruff is a faster alternative to linting and code formatting tools in Python like Flake 8 and Black. And with VS Code, you don't even need to install Rust to use Ruff. You don't even have to put it into a Venv. You can use it as an editor add-on. And Rough makes for a good example of a growing number of tools in the Python ecosystem that are written in Rust, although it is still very much in its early stages and evolving. So that's it for this episode. If you liked it, leave a comment below, and don't forget to follow Dev with Sirdar and InfoWorld on Facebook, YouTube, and InfoWorld.com.